In this illustration, uh, we intend to simulate the connection of beam to the column using end plate and bolt under monotonic loading in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, this model is composed of beam, column, end plate, rib stiffener, continuity plate, and bolt. In this question, beam has been connected to end plate using weld. An end plate has been connected to the column by eight bolts. The rib stiffeners, beam and end plate have all been connected together by welding. In this question, a monotonic loading is applied to the end of the beam and then the force displacement diagram will be drawn. In this picture, the force displacement diagram obtained uh, from the Abacus software has been compared with experimental results. In this picture, the deformation of model undergoing a monotonic loading can be observed. In this picture, the results gained from the Abacus software have been compared with experimental results. As you observe, there is a good conformity between the abacus results and experimental results. In the, next, in the next picture, the buckling of rib stiffener in the abacus software and in the experimental sample can be observed. As it's clear in this picture, the abacus software results and experimental results have all been well conformed together. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Structural Behavior of Stainless, of stainless Steel Double Extended End Plate Beam to Column Joints Under Monotonic Loading. In this picture, the geometric details of the model can be observed. In this picture, the simulated sample in the Abacus software is observed. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create a geometric shape of the beam. I will select the modeling space as 3D, deformable, solid, and extrusion. Enter approximate size equal to 1000 and continue. In this picture, you can observe the geometric shape of different parts of the model, the proportions and sizes of which have been distinguished in this picture. The length of the beam web is equal to 250 millimeters. The length of the flange is equal to 150 millimeters. 
the thickness of the web is equal to 6 mm and the thickness of the flange is equal to 10 mm. The rib stiffener is in form of a triangle with proportions of 135 multiplied by 90. The thickness of rib stiffener is equal to 6 mm. I will click on Rotate Instance, select the beam, done. First select this point and then this one. Enter the angle of rotation equal to 90 degrees and OK. I will transfer the beam to a proper place. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of end plate into the assembly section and rotate that 90 degrees about X axis. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of rib stiffener into the assembly section. Select step 2, select displacement rotation and continue. I will select this reference point, done, and enter U3 equal to negative 380 millimeters.
Here, we intend to compare the results gained from the Abacus software with those results obtained from experimental samples. First, we want to compare the deformation obtained from the Abacus software with experimental results. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are so close to experimental results. Here, you observe the buckling of rib stiffener in the compression side. As you observe, the deformation of rib stiffener is similar to the deformation of the laboratory sample. In the next step, we intend to draw the diagram of displacement force. Actually, we intend to obtain the diagram having been drawn with black color in the Abacus software. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. Here, I'll select RF. 3 and U3 and click on Save As. I click on Create XY Data, then on Operate on XY Data and Continue. Here I select Combine. First select U3 and then RF3. Here I will put a negative sign and another negative sign here and click on Save As. Here you observe the diagram of force displacement. I will transfer the diagram to the Excel software.
The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is newton. The diagram drawn with green color is the one having been obtained from the Abacus software. Here we should compare the green color diagram having been obtained from the Abacus software with a black diagram in the article. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are so close to those results mentioned in the article indicating that this question has been simulated correctly in the Abacus software.